What's up everyone, Ghulam Ahmed with GeneActivated.ca. Welcome back, this is now the last day guys. This is day 20 of the Ramadan at home workout series. I'm a little bit bummed out, I'm gonna be leaving you guys, but you guys have done an amazing job if you've made it this far. If you've actually made it this far, if you've gone through 20 days with me, I'm actually really proud of you and I, you have my respect because I know it wasn't easy, especially in Ramadan. And even if you're watching this and you're not in Ramadan right now, even if you've gotten to 20, it's still a huge, huge milestone, especially if you've never really worked out before. I hope you learned a lot during this series and I hope you found it really, really beneficial and I hope you shared it with a lot of your friends and families so they could also find it helpful. Having said that, although this is the end of the series, it's not really the end of your fitness journey. So if you're looking to finally achieve the body of your dreams, if you're tired of, you know, fed up of not being able to lose weight, not to be able to, you know, figure out what type of diet to follow, what type of program to follow, if you're trying to gain weight, whatever have you, if you're looking for some help and looking for some personalized coaching, some one-on-one -on -one coaching, head on over to my website, www.geneactivated.ca, or you can contact me through my email, info at geneactivated.ca. I'll have this information in the description below. So you can contact me and I'll see if we can figure out a way to help you out. All right, guys, so now, now moving on to the last day now today we're gonna get going we're gonna start with something tough again this is your last exercise so the last day with me so i'm gonna teach you two new exercises today with a new stretch at the end but the first exercise is gonna be tough as usual so this is gonna be burpees uh, we've done it for the last two weeks as well but today we're gonna do four burpees without the push-up so it's still gonna be a little challenging but it's gonna be tough but i think you can do it because you've made it this far and you're strong so we're gonna do three sets of eight and the way we're gonna do it this time, I'm gonna show you one or two just to start off and then we're gonna get into it, okay? So you're gonna go down like this, okay? You're gonna bring your feet inside and you're gonna jump up. Then you're gonna jump down, you're gonna bring your, bring your feet back, then you're gonna bring your feet back in and jump up, that's two. So you go down here, you bring your feet back, then you bring your feet back in and then you jump up, okay? So that's what we're gonna do. That's the burpee that we're gonna do today. It's a little bit more advanced than last week. We're adding another jumping important, uh, component when we jump back and then jump back in and then jump back up. So there's three jumps in total. So without further ado, let's get going. We're gonna do three sets of eight today, okay guys? Let's go, ready? So go down, right? We're gonna jump back, jump back in, stand up, one. Go down, jump back, jump back in, stand up, two and jump. Go down, jump back, jump back in, stand up and jump. That's three. That's four. That's five. Almost here, guys. That's six. Two more. Seven. One more. And eight. Beautiful. So. I know that was a little tough and you want to make sure your knees are wide the whole your feet are wide the whole time okay don't have them narrow like that it'll put a little more pressure on your knees so let's take a break let's take 30 seconds to breathe catch your breath recover recover we got two more of this you can do it let's go It's day 20 guys, this is the last day. You gotta finish strong, you can do it. Ready, let's get going for the second set now. So we go down, back, in, up. One, breathe. Up, two, go all done, let's go. Three. Four. Five. Six. Two more guys, come on, push back, pull in, go up, seven, last one. Well done guys, let's take a 30 second break now. We're gonna focus on our breathing. I'm gonna fix our mat, because it got moved a little bit. You guys did wonderful, so we got one more set. It's pretty tough, I know, but it's one of the hardest things today that we're gonna to be doing, so don't worry. We're gonna get the hard part out of the way in the beginning, okay? So breathe. We're gonna take two more deep breaths and then we get going, okay? All right, 
Last set, you ready? Let's go. Down, back up, jump. One. Breathe. Two, breathing is key. Three. Four. Five. Six, two more guys, come on. Seven, one more. Eight, wonderful, okay, done, three sets. That wasn't so bad. Let's take a minute, we're gonna breathe, calm down, bring our heart rate down, recover, then move into the second exercise. So wrist go breathe. Wonderful guys. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna do push-ups again uh, as usual. We do a lot of push-ups in this series, but I hope that it has been a very beneficial for you and you've been able to really increase in your upper body strength. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do something different today. We're gonna do 12 push-ups in total, but we're gonna split it up into three sets of four, okay? So the first four we're gonna do as a close grip push-up. Then the next four we're gonna do as a medium grip push-up. So we start here close grip, okay? The second four, we do medium grip, the last four, we go wide grip, okay? So that's how it's gonna add to a total of 12 reps. And we're gonna do three sets with a 30 second break in between. So let's get into it. We're gonna go down, we're gonna get into the push-up position, making sure the hands are right underneath the chest. We're gonna bring our hands in like this, keep the elbows tucked. We're gonna do the first four as close grip push-ups. So let's go, breathe in, breathe out, one. Two, three, and four. Now we're gonna go medium, so we're gonna go a little bit wider, and we're gonna do four. One, two, three, four. Now we're gonna do the last four, we're gonna go wider than that, okay? And then do them. One, two, three, and four. Very nice, guys. Beautiful, so let's take a 30 second break now. <sighs> Recover. <sighs> Beautiful guys. In through your nose. <sighs> Out through your mouth, exhale nice and slowly. Inhale slowly, <sighs> exhale slowly. <sighs> All right, now let's get into the second set. Again, we're starting off with the close script first. The first four close, the second four medium, and the last four wide. Ready, and go. One, two, three, four, medium, okay. One, two, three, four, very nice. Now let's go wide for the last one. Ready, and one, two, three, four. Beautiful guys, second set is in the books. We got one more to go. Let's breathe, recover. Wonderful. All right, let's get into it. Get into the last one. Hands close. Close grip, four. One, two, breathe. Three, and four. Now we go medium, and down and up. One, two, three, and four. Now we go as wide as we can, and one, two, three, and four. Very nice, guys, well done. Let's take a minute break, let's cool down, breathe, recover. So 
So now I'm going to teach you a new exercise. You know, I thought it's the last day. So why not teach you guys something new again? So this is going to be a new exercise for your abs again. Okay, this is called curl ups. So we're going to do three sets of 20 curl ups. I'm going to teach you how to do it on the floor. But before I do that, guys, please do let me know how this series has been for you. If you found it really, really helpful, if you learned a lot, and if you lost a lot of weight during this month, please do share that with me. I love your feedback. It really helps to motivate others as well. And share that either in the comments section or find me on Instagram at Gene Activated. Private message me there, or you could even email me. I really love to like to hear your feedback. Thank you so much. So now we're gonna get into it. We're gonna lie down. Okay. So the curl ups, it's mostly for your upper abs, okay? What you're gonna do is, you're just gonna keep your hands on your chest here, and you're gonna crunch your way up as high as you can without getting your lower back out of the, um, off, the pad, uh, off the floor, okay? So right here, go up, squeeze, hold, come back nice and slow, one. Squeeze, come back nice and slow, two. Squeeze, Come back nice and slow, three, four. Now the key is to keep your chin tucked in, otherwise your neck will start to get strained. And when you come up, come up slowly, squeeze, try to crush your stomach together this way. Hold that and then make sure you release slowly, okay? Don't just come back down. And when you come back to the bottom position, make sure you rest for a second, rest your neck for a second, because it's gonna get tense. We have to do a lot of reps. So we're at seven now. That's eight, squeeze, nine, 10, 11, 12, rest your neck for a second, 13, rest, 14, 15, good job guys. 16. 17, very nice. 18. 19. 19. And 20, very nice. So this is a great exercise for you to do if you have a back injury, right? If you are suffering from some back problems as well, a great exercise to start to strengthening your core to really help out your back too, because it doesn't force, it doesn't move your back at all. Your back stays flat on the floor, the lower back especially, just your upper back rounds up, tries to crush your core and you bring it back. So let's continue to breathe. That was your first set, we're gonna do two more sets, okay guys? Now if you're really feeling a strain in your neck, try to only do 10 to 12 reps. Don't try to do all the way to 20 reps because your neck is probably not used to it. So now we're gonna get into the second set. Lie down and ready and up, squeeze and back. One, two, three, four, five. The idea is to get your shoulders off of the floor. Six, seven, very nice, eight. Nine, beautiful. 10, 11, 12, rest your neck for a second, recover a little bit, it's probably a little tense now. 13, make sure you keep your chin, chin tucked in. 14, 15, 16, 17, Really try to crush your core at the top. 18, two more. 19, one more. 20. Very nice, guys. Let's take a break. We're gonna take a 30 second break. We're gonna breathe. And then we're gonna do the last one, okay? You're doing wonderful. Day 20, day 20, good job. All right, let's do the last one. 
Let me show you from this side. Okay, ready to go. And we're up. Squeeze back. One. Two. Three. Four. You should be shaking at the top. Five. That's how you know your abs are working. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Rest. Come up. Squeeze. Fifteen. Five more. One. You got it. Come on. You're doing great. Two. We got three more to go. Rest. Squeeze. Four. Last one. And. Beautiful. Twenty. Really nice, guys. That's your second set. I'm sorry, the third set is done now. So now we're gonna take a break. Take a one minute break, we're gonna breathe. And then we're gonna get into the next exercise, which is going to be a new exercise again. It's gonna be built up from the last week's exercise, which is called a forward lunge. So last week we did a reverse lunge. We did the lunge like this, went back and then came back to the front. Today we're gonna do a forward lunge. So we're gonna step forward and then come back to the beginning position, okay? So let's take a minute break, keep breathing. Keep breathing guys. So with the forward lunge, what you're gonna do is, the main thing is when you step, you're gonna step ahead, okay? And then you're gonna, again, do 90-90, a 90 degree here, a 90 degree there. But the main idea is to put all the pressure of your body on your forward leg, on your front leg, and drive the floor down. Pretend the ground can go further down, and you wanna push the ground down, and then drive your way back up to the front. And that's really gonna force you to use a lot more of your leg muscles. And you wanna make sure that you're driving through your heel, okay? Your heel, not your toe. So don't drive through like that. Drive through your heel so you get the maximal benefit. So now we're gonna try it. We're gonna do three sets of 10 reps, okay? So we're gonna step. Now I'm gonna put all my pressure here and drive back to the front, one. Good, push, two. Keep your hands on your hips, push, three, four, five, six. Very nice, drive through that front leg, seven, eight, Nine. Ten. Good. Now let's switch sides. Now, if you're someone that has knee issues, don't do this to them, okay? Stick to the reverse lunges. But if your knees are good, let's do the forward lunge. Other side. Push. One. Push. Two. Push. Three. Drive through the front leg. Four. Very nice. Five. Beautiful. Six, very nice. Seven. Eight, you're doing wonderful guys. Nine. Ten. Beautiful, let's take a 30 second break, let's breathe. Okay. So we should be getting ready to go again. And ready to go. Let's start in five seconds. Four, three, two, and go. One, two, three. Very nice. Step, push, four. Step, push, five. Step, push, Six, drive through the front leg. Seven, beautiful, drive through your heel. Eight, not your toes, okay? Nine. Ten, very nice guys. 
Let's switch sides. And one, two, three, well done. Four, five, very nice. Six, good job. Seven, beautiful. Eight, nine, and 10. Well done, guys. Let's take a 30 second break, then we're gonna do the third set, okay? We're almost done, guys. One more exercise after this, and then we're just gonna do a stretch and we're all done, okay? So let's keep breathing. Wonderful, okay. Let's do the last one. All right, hand on your hips and drive. One, drive, two, three, four, very nice. Five, good, six, good, seven, beautiful. Drive through, eight, drive through, nine, Drive through, 10, wonderful. Switch sides, ready? Three, two, one, go. One, two, three, good. Four, five, six, seven. Well done guys, come on, push. Eight, two more. Nine, last one, 10, wonderful. Okay, one minute break now, then we do another new exercise, and then we finish it off, okay, with the stretch. So let's breathe. Well done, recover, recover. So now we're gonna do another bicep exercise. So if you have dumbbells, I want you to go ahead and get your dumbbells, okay? You're gonna need two today. And we're gonna do something called the hammer curl exercise. This last week we did the bicep curl, straight bicep curl, and that does the long head. Today we're gonna to work on the short head of the bicep, which is, and the brachialis, radiobrachialis muscle, which is also gonna be the forearm muscle. So we're gonna use something called hammer curls. So instead of doing the curls like this, you're pretty much gonna keep your fists like this and then curl the weight up, okay? So let's take a second, let's go get our dumbbells and then we'll get going. So I got my dumbbells now, we're gonna keep them like this. You wanna make sure your elbows are inside your stomach here on the side of your rib cage, okay? Not flaring outside. Keep your, keep your elbows here, then you're gonna come up, you're gonna squeeze, and you're gonna come back nice and slow and controlled. You're gonna come up, squeeze your forearm and your biceps together, okay? And then come back nice and slow and controlled. That's four, I'll show you from the front. We're gonna do eight to 10. Five, six, seven. Good job, guys. Eight, squeeze. Nine, squeeze. 10, good. So notice that I was holding it from the edge here. I'm not holding it from the middle. From the edge, it puts more of a different angle on the bicep and makes you force to work the biceps a little bit more. And then notice that my elbows weren't shifting back and forth and they weren't flaring out, okay? So elbows stay tucked in, chest stays tall, you come up, you squeeze your forearm and your biceps together as hard as you can and you bring it back down. Okay, so let's breathe one more time. One more. And let's get going with the second set. So again, elbows in, chest is out, come up, squeeze, one. Two, three, four, very nice. Five, beautiful guys. Six, seven, eight, nine, one more. Squeeze and 10. Well done guys, well done, well done. Let's take a break, 30 seconds, let's breathe. 
wipe up some of that sweat if you're sweating like me. Good job. Almost there guys, almost there, almost there. We got one more set now and then it's just pretty simple after that. We're just gonna do a stretch and then you're off. You're off to doing your iftari, okay. Ready, let's go. Squeeze, one. Squeeze, two, very nice guys. Three, show you from the side. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, one more, and ten, wonderful. Okay, let's put this away. All right, let's take a minute break now, let's breathe. Okay, so now I'm gonna take you through your stretch for today. So today's stretch is gonna be called the thoracic extension rotation stretch, okay? I know I've covered on the thoracic extension stretch in the past, but this is a little bit different. This one is really, really helpful for not only your posture, your shoulder health, your overall shoulder health, and your upper back mobility, your thoracic mobility. So a way to know that, you know, the difference is because the difference with, with having good thoracic extension and thoracic mobility is if you try to round your back like this, right, and you try to lift your arms up, you kind of get stuck here. You can't go any further than that, right? But now imagine if I keep, and this is how most people's postures are. They're, they're, they're slouched over. You know, if you're someone that works at a desk job all the time, you're working in the corporate environment, you're always typing, you're always on the computer, you're gonna be like this, you're gonna be slouching, right? Or if you're somebody that just has a lot of tension, a lot of stress from your work life, whatever, you're gonna be stressed out. So, you're gonna be rounded forward. So as you can tell, you can see that you, you don't really have much extension. You can't really get your hands up that high. But now look what happens if I open up my chest and I do this. Now look at this. You see this? You see how much further up I got? So that's what happens when you have good thoracic upper back extension and mobility. You're able to have better shoulders, safer shoulders when you're doing your lifts like overhead presses, your bench presses, your your shoulder presses. So it keeps your shoulder in a very safe area. And this is why it's very, very important to work on this every single day before your workout, after your workout, before you go to bed, once you wake up, whatever have you, whenever you can find time, it's a really good stretch to work on that. So it not only keeps your shoulders healthy, opens up your posture, gets your posture in a good position, and it also is amazing for your thoracic extension, which it just means upper body uh, mobility and extension. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna get onto the floor and I'm actually gonna, what I want you to do is I'm gonna show you from the side first and then I'll show you from the front. So the main thing I want you to do is I want you to get your feet, so if you're wearing shoes, your laces should be on the floor. Your feet should be on the floor like this. And then I want you to rest your bum on your heels, okay? Now from here, what I want you to do is I want you to take this arm, okay? Your left arm, put it on the floor like this, okay? Then I want you to take your fingertips and put them on your forehead, okay? I don't want you to put your hand on your neck because then you're gonna sort of pull your neck down. Just get your fingertips, put them on your forehead. And then what I want you to do is I want you to expose your chest to the roof. So show your chest to the roof. So you're gonna rotate and you're gonna try to show your chest to roof and come back. And show your chest to the roof and come back. So when you're going up, you not only wanna just rotate this way, you also wanna be pushing the ground down with this arm. So you wanna push down with this arm away from you. At the same time, you also wanna rotate your upper back at the top too. So like this, come up and back. Like this, push this down, and it'll help you to rotate and, 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 and uh, extend more. So that was from the front, sorry, from the side. Now let me show you how it, what it looks like from the front. So you wanna do about 10 reps per side. 10 reps on this side, then 10 reps on the other side. So we'll do this side now. Again, your feet are on the floor, your butt's on your heels, right? You wanna get your arm down, right? And you wanna push this down away from the floor, get your hand on your forehead, and then you wanna, again, expose your chest to the roof of above you here. Like this, one. Two. Three. Four, 
let's do 10. 5. 6. Push down from this arm. 7. 8. 9. Push again away. And 10. So very nice. Now let's do the other side. Can you see my whole body in this or no? Or am I cut off? I'm okay? Okay. So now let's do the other side. Again, keep this arm down, right? And you want to make sure that you're pushing the ground down with this arm and you're rotating away with this other arm. Okay, ready? One, good. Two. Three. Four, expose your chest to the roof. Five, good. Six. Seven, almost there guys. Eight. Nine, one more. 10, beautiful guys. So that's how you do the thoracic extension rotation stretch. Great for fixing your posture, overall health of your shoulder and your thoracic extension, your upper back extension and mobility. So there you have it guys, that's day 20 in the books. Super proud of you for making it this far. I hope you found this series very, very beneficial. Please do remember me in your prayers, me and my family. I wanted to give a quick, quick shout out to my wife. She's been the person behind this whole series. She's been sitting behind the camera counting your breaks and making sure that I don't do anything stupid. So please remember her and, my, and myself in your prayers in this month. And I really hope you took away some really good benefits from health benefits from this series as well, as well, as well as increasing in your spirituality in this month as well. So I know this is coming to an end, but this doesn't mean that your fitness journey has to come to an end. So if you're still looking to get into better shape, lose fat, build muscle, and you need some more help with that, make sure you check out my website, www.geneactivated.ca, or you can message me or email me at info at geneactivated.ca, and we'll figure out a way to make you personalized workouts and diet so that you can get to your fitness goal. Guys, I wanted to wish you all an Eid Mubarak from my family to yours. Take care, guys.